welcome to your third tutorial video on html i hope you are enjoying the the playlist so far okay so in this um video i want us to look at something we call headers and paragraphs okay headers and paragraphs so one thing about html i would like to show you is some let me just clear everything in my body so let me just clear everything Instead of you typing out everything, the document type, the opening and closing tags for HTML for your body and then for the head, one thing you can do is um, you just type HTML and then you, you move to the second option and then you select that one, okay, HTML5. So you select this one and everything will be filled out for you, okay. Yeah, so everything has been filled out for us as you can see. Yeah, so the document type is here. Close opening and closing tags. Yeah, the head and then the body. Okay, so these ones are they are not. There is no need for you to know what they do. <coughs> there is no need for you to know what they do as of now. Yeah, so let's just um focus on the title. So here you can just um change the document to whatever you want let's see if you want home home page whatever you want okay so now yeah I want us to look at headers and paragraphs so headers you see anytime you visit a site and maybe there's an article on the site there's always a title to the article a title and sometimes a subtitle yeah so headers are ways of producing titles to your contents on the page okay and then yes the they are represented by h the very first header is on h1 okay so you just type h1 and then yes yeah, so with vs code anytime you want to open a tag you just type um the name of the tag and then it will be suggested for you and then you just press enter and the opening and closing tags will be provided for you if it is a single tab to the single tab will be provided for you okay yeah so yeah the very first header is the header one there are other options too we have header two header three um sorry about that header three all the way to header six also you can try it out and see yeah so let me put something in between here say title let me copy this and then put the same thing in between the header two tag put the same thing in between the header three tag and then save my work and then refresh my page yeah so as you can see the first one is our header one tag the second one header two in the order yes yeah, so in the header one tag is larger in font size as compared to the other tags and then it is um the weight of the header one is bolder than the header two and header three yes yeah, so it goes in that order from header one all the way down to all the way down to header six okay so you can use any of them you prefer for your contents on a page yeah, so now that we we know what the header tag is let's look at the paragraph tag the paragraph tag is also represented by p so we just type p and then our opening and closing tags are provided for us then now yeah just as the name suggests um it is a paragraph yeah so any paragraph at all you want to produce on your page you use the paragraph tag okay so now we can type something in here um, this is um our first paragraph mm, this is our first paragraph this is our second tutorial i think i'll i'll be ignoring the the typos okay yeah so this is our first paragraph this is our second tutorial yeah, however you want to mention the word there yeah so 
this is the header tag we have three header tags here header one header two header three and then this is our paragraph tag so i can just save the work refresh the page and then as you can see the the paragraph tag is showing on our page okay yes yeah, so and then one thing about um the header and then the paragraph tag is that um anytime anytime you 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 put your content in tags um there are some automatic um padding and margins which are produced in between your your contents um yes um you might not know what padding and margin is at the moment but then let me just um you see there is space in between each um information we have here on our page yes okay so the spaces in between they are provided automatically because everything here is in a particular tag yes so when you put something in the tag it moves it to the next line and then it provides some space in between it and the the previous um the previous components okay yes so yeah this is how to add titles in the form of headers to your your page and then this is how to add paragraphs to your page so yes um that will be it for this video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos see you in the next tutorial video